Hey guys, this review is more back on their quick review. This is on the Thrive brand essentials kit. This is based the basic turtle kit with a 40 gallon tank. I picked it at PetSmart and I'm pretty sure it's in store only and it may be available to other re re uh, retailers, but 200 bucks was what the price was in person at the store and it comes with all those various items you see there. You may want to pause it here to get the full list. I'll also post it in the description. Before I go any further into the review, if you find this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, and I hope you're helped out by the review as well. All right, so we're going to see point by point all the various little items in this, and this is how we picked it up from the store. Um, I will tell you to pay close attention to that little $20 in savings on the right-hand side. If you do buy this kit, it does come with about 20 bucks in savings for various little, uh, like, uh, items that you can purchase with the coupon. So that little pack of coupons is located inside the box. Now um, as we go through this, each little item in particular has its own purpose obviously. It comes with obviously the filter is the biggest. Those filters can be 50 to $70 a piece sometimes and this whole kit together costs about $200. So it's a pretty good price considering all the things that you get. And to open up the actual uh, uh, tank itself has two little key locks there just pops right open. it's pretty self-explanatory um, as you unbox this you see I'm having trouble pulling at this this has that um, I'm gonna call it museum glue sticky pieces to it basically it's like if I'm gonna describe it as like, it's like a little booger attached to paper that holds things onto hard surfaces uh, make sure you get that out and you kind of wipe it down I don't I I would like to assume that everything in here with the exception of obviously like the paper and things is animal safe but you can't guarantee that so anything that's stuck on here residue sticky stuff from like the stickers and the stuff they use to hold the all the various items in place inside the box uh, make sure you wipe that stuff off really well all right, so here's a quick item rundown. There's the internal filter. There's the eight and a half inch dome light right there for basking. Then we got the five and a half inch deep dome light. This one has my UVB light bulb in there. There's the UVB light bulb. And then you're going to see a basking bulb shortly after. And that's all the various items for this kit. And uh, that, that's kind of where we start with. So it's um, a good chunk of product, especially considering how ex strangely expensive reptile, fish tanks, all those various items are typically. So here's a uh, unboxing of each of the items, going through the various lamps, showing what they have. Um, what's also nice about these lamps, they come with um, nice little uh, plastic prongs right there. You see it that you attach to it so you don't have to touch that hot ceramic thing when you got to move these lamps around on occasion, which is a very, very nice touch. A lot of when I used to, when the first set of lights I ever bought for my turtle didn't have those and you got to kind of let the light cool off before you got to move it around, which is kind of annoying. But they get, they've kind of fixed that, which is kind of nice. Um, you're you're gonna see my pet later on, but it is a uh, Eastern River Cooter. It's a, a turtle native to North Carolina and the Southeast, and you're gonna see basically what it looks like. His name's Wump, so we like him a lot. We've had him for about ten or so years. We rescued him because his little brother's hatched nearby him and got ran over by bicyclists on a bike trail, to the best of our knowledge. So we rescued him, and he's been my my wife's pet since before we got married, before we had a baby, <laughs> everything. Uh, gosh, I think it's probably tw close to 12 years now, 12-year-old turtle. We got him when he was probably just a few days old, maybe a few hours old. And here's the uh, filter itself. I'll piece that apart real fast for you. And just a quick reminder, anytime you get these kind of items, make sure you always rinse them off real good. Again, you would hope, based on the brand and everything else that they cater to, people who have reptiles and other animals, that they're well rinsed of any chemical residue from the factory. But you never know. So always assume the worst and just go ahead and do that and it comes off real easy it's kind of like a it's almost like a pressure plate in there so it kind of feels like it's holding on good and tight there's the tubing for the actual filter where it pumps it out and there's a set there and you see the filter there it's a fairly robust little pump it's pretty heavy all things considered and has a little adjustable dial so you can change out the rate of the water flow and you move it around i just keep it at max because i want the water flowing as much as possible it's a 40 gallon tank so to keep the water kind of moving around is kind of needed and if you look right where that little log piece kind of meets up with the gray rock piece, you see the little slit, that's where the wire goes. And it should go out the top of a little outlet that's on the very top of the turtle tank itself. All right, so we have now filled the tank up with water. We've made sure the tank was nice and rinsed off. We got some good water in there. 
We've got the water flowing. I didn't bother recording the sound. I will tell you that it is a very, very, very quiet pump and water system. Um, it doesn't make a lot of noise in the background. In fact, I have it on right next to me where I'm recording this, so I have a little bit of noise reduction on this through software, but there's really not a whole lot to it. There you go. There's the lamps turned on. Um, the turtle's not in there yet. We, we let the water sit for a little while, make sure everything worked properly, make sure that the pump didn't shoot anything goofy out, like maybe there was some kind of residue I couldn't see or something. Basically making sure the pump is running clean. Um, we, we took his old tank, threw a couple of water from his old tank in there just so any bacteria that's natural to his environment would also grow in there as well. And there's my little buddy inside of his tank. He's next to my computer. He is just so handsome. Very, very nice. Um, he he has that little basking rock that he uses as a shelter, but he won't bask on it anymore. He wants to climb up and be an acrobat on top of the new one, even when we move the light over on top of his old one. So we might be changing some things around. I actually purchased a, the uh, basking platform for him, so I'll be reviewing that next once I get it installed and making sure it works. I hope the video was helpful. Um, have a great day. Uh, Wump says hi and then makes a lot of thumping noises because he's excited about all his new area to swim. He's going from 30 to 40 gallons, so he's pretty stoked about it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And again, if you found the video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button.